Why did Jesus restore the ear of Marcus when Peter cut it off in the Gospel of John chapter 18? When Peter drew out his sword and assaulted Marcus, the servant of the high priest, he was guilty of a capital crime. Peter would have been executed. The reason was this. He was defending a man who had already been condemned of a capital punishment. Later, Peter would deny Jesus about three times because he had understood what it means to align himself with a man who was accused of blasphemy in the then Jewish tradition. So when Jesus restores the ears of Matthew, the servant of the high priest, he took away all the evidence of all Peter had transgressed. So if Marcus would have gone up to the council and accused Peter of this crime, there was absolutely no evidence for this assault. This is a representation of what Christ has done for us on the cross. When we ask for his forgiveness, when we ask for salvation, by the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross, we are cleansed with his blood. The blood of Jesus takes away all the evidence of our sins, all the evidence of our transgressions. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, verses 10 to 11, describes it so much and says, The accuser of her brethren, who accused them day and night before our God, having thrown them, and they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. In fact, the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians chapter 2, verse 14 to 15, cemented this fact and it says, having counseled the charge of our legal indebtedness that stood against us, that condemns us, he took it all away and nailed it upon the cross. He disarmed the principalities and powers. He disarmed the powers and authorities and made the public spectacle of them on the cross, triumphing over them. My dear brothers and sisters, isn't this amazing? He took our cross and became the cause that we will be free from our cause. Most importantly, beyond taking away all the evidence of Peter's assault, the restoration of Marcus is it's the supreme act of love of Jesus to perceived enemies. What does it mean? For Jesus, there are no enemies. We are all his brothers who crave, who desire to be loved. Jesus Christ is the king who rules, not on the throne with an iron fixed of vengeance, but on the cross with a supreme act of love, restoring, reconnecting, and restoring all men, without exception, to his Father. This is what Christ has done for us. What have we done for him? Happy Easter.